Hi everyone, welcome to today's uh, Daily Lent Reflection. And today is Sunday and it's the fourth Sunday of Lent. Our two uh, scripture readings that we're reflecting on come from 2 Chronicles 36 verses 14 to 17 and verses 19 to 23, Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 10 and John 3 verses 14 to 21. And our opening quote comes from John 3 17, quote, God did not send the Son of Man into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him." End quote. And our reflection for today is the mission of Jesus. The mission of Jesus is the exercise of redemptive love. Quote, the Son of Man has not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life in ransom for the many. End quote. That comes from Mark 10 verse 45. Quote, love then consists in this, not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and has sent his son as an offering for our sins, end quote. And that quote comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 10. Another way of describing what Jesus did for us is to recall the Catholic doctrine of atonement. Atonement refers to our reconciliation with God through the sacrificial death of Christ. Since sin is an infinite, offense against God, no ordinary being could offer satisfaction to the Father for it. It was necessary that the God-man, Jesus Christ, offer complete satisfaction for sin through his sacrificial death. In this way, the justice of God was satisfied and God and man were reconciled. For this reason, John the baptizer calls Jesus, quote, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, end quote. And that is from John 1, verse 29. These mighty deeds of God demand a response from us, the response of faith. Otherwise, we are worthy not of salvation, but of condemnation. Quote, whoever believes in him avoids condemnation, but whoever does not believe is already condemned for not believing in the name of God's only Son, end quote. And that quote is from John 3, verse 18. Commenting on this text, the New American Bible notes, Jesus coming provokes judgment. His purpose is to save, but some condemn themselves by turning from the light. This Sunday at the Eucharistic Liturgy, we will once again make, the, make our profession of faith, proclaiming that, quote, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. end quote. This Sunday, let us break through the barriers of habit and routine, and from the depths of our hearts, Proclaim our faith in Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer. And our closing prayer for today is a, come, a quote from the memorial acclamation. And the prayer is this, quote, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world, end quote. And our practice for today is this. Several times today, I will renew my faith in Jesus, Lord and Savior. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.